Hey, my name is Josh and I'm going to show you my club menu. This will be a little quick start, uh, how to get up and running quickly with my club menu. First, I'm going to log in to my account, demo at myclub.menu, put in my password, and log in. So the first thing you'll see, which might be different than your account, is uh, I've got a drop down here in the top left. This is because I've got two clubs set up. I've got my first club, which has one set of menus. There's my sample menu here. And my second club has a different set of menus. So uh, that's one thing to keep in mind. So we've got two tabs, menus. This is where we actually edit our menus and um, configure them how we like. And then in the TVs tab, this is where we connect our TVs and then add our menus to our TVs. So let's start with that. We're gonna create a new TV. Now to do that, um, we've got to link it up to an existing TV. Now your, your TV will have a, if it's a smart TV, we'll have a browser. Um, we're going to go to that in, in your TV. You're going to go to this, this URL, myclub.menu forward slash TV, and you'll get a unique code. So I'm going to do the same thing here, but in a browser tab, just to show you do that. I get this unique code right here. Uh, you can type it in from your TV. I'm going to paste it in cause I have it in my browser. I'm going to name this example TV and um, give it a, a description of browser. All right, so I've got my example TV here. And the first thing we can do is add a menu. So right now, if we go back to this and we get on your TV, this is what you would see. You'd see ready for a menu. So send a, a menu to this TV. We're going to do that right now. Let's hit add menu. And we're going to choose another sample, a sample menu here. I'm going to close and there's our menu. It's attached. We're, right, we're able to send it right to our TV. This is the, this is what you'll see on your TV. If you, if you've gotten this far, um, one, one really cool thing is, is that you can add multiple menus to the same TV. So if I hit add menu and choose this photos one, hit close, uh, you'll see this is we're still looking at the other menu, but in a moment here, you'll see that it will, um, it will rotate to the other menu. There it goes. So yeah, this is really nice because you can add multiple menus. Doesn't it be one or two. It could be more than that. And then what's really nice is you can customize, uh, how long they display so you can modify that. All right. So now we've got our TV set up. Let's go to our menus here. And let's go back to another sample menu and show you real quick some basics. Um, just a basic understanding of this interface. We've got the left bar, which kind of shows you what you can drag into your menu here. We've got a heading, we've got text, we've got price, prices, um, and image. So, uh, but the main thing you display is our items and that's through this little plus button. Uh, it's kind of a special, we did, we did it this way mainly because it allows you to, to rapidly add multiple items. So um, I'll show you that real quick. So if I delete a few of these items here, the menu will shift. And now I've got this open space over here. If I hit the plus button, I've just added really quickly multiple items here. So I can drag these to where I want them. Let's put that one there. Um, kind of shifted and overflowed. So I'm gonna grab it from this edge here, drag that down. And this down here, oops, that one went up to the top. All right. So yeah, so it's really easy to move things around and modify your menu. Uh, if you double click into one of these and uh, now we've got the properties panel up here. If you double click one of these, you can, you can start typing like hello world and then hit tab and it'll go right to the next one. Um, this is awesome. Cool stuff. All right. So I've, I've modified those. Um, a couple other basics are like, um, we can drag anything around to reposition it. So I've moved that up to where I want it. Um, I can resize this image to fit the space that I have available. I can pull it down, pull it up. Yeah. Anything that overflows. So when you see this kind of like, it just disappeared right here. 
it overflowed, it actually went over to the side here and we left it visible so that you could see that these kinds of things happen. So if I go a little further, you'll see the green one go over there. So yeah, you can see it kind of squished into this spot over here. Um, that means you've got some overflow happening and you want to fix that. So, um, yeah, so that that's pretty much it. You can come in here and add new things by dragging and dropping. So if I want to add a heading here, I can drag it in here, double click to edit. This is my new heading and maybe make it like, I don't know, let's just go black. And then I can move that to a different spot and, um, readjust my, my menu here to fit. And now I've got my new heading added. So that's how you move things around, add things, drag and drop. You can drag a new image in, double click to edit, uh, choose a file, and then you've got your new image and resize it. So um, that's a quick start. So if I actually took this right now and published it, you would see the changes live on your TV. Pretty easy. Um, so I'm going to select this. I'm going to grab it and drag it to the trash can to delete that one. Maybe I'll do that one to this one here. I'm just going to fix up the menu a little bit, resize this and hit publish to fix up my menu a little bit. Okay. And right now it's on the other one. So when it reloads, we should see the changes. There you go. So pretty easy to modify and tweak up your, your design here. Uh, one thing to note is you can remove the numbers here. Um, you can modify the background colors. So like if I change this right now, it's use, I can set it to none and then that background, the default background color will go away. You can also change the gradients. Um, let's see, pick a couple of fun little colors here. You can, you can pretty much do whatever you want here. Now, I guess the last thing I want to touch on is, um, you know, uh, I'll, I'll mention this real quick. You can reset these elements by just little, hitting this little arrow above them. So we'll reset that we'll reset this and that'll get it back to where we were. Um, but one thing to note here is the selection. So I've got this element selected right now. Um, and I can modify it, change its text and colors and things like that, you know, and stuff, uh, which is great. Um, I'm going to reset that, but if I want to change everything, I can use the kind tab. And this lets me change the color for all of them um, or the size for all of them, um, which is great. Just makes it a little bit easier for you. So you don't have to go to each individual element if you want to change the whole look. Um, yeah, that's, and then you can duplicate an element with this little duplicate icon here. Click that and I've duplicated Caramel Coconut Delight. Made another one right there after it. Um, that becomes really handy when you've got certain styles applied and you want to duplicate that look and feel. So I'm going to shift click to select it and then click this to delete it. And uh, one nice thing is if you shift click multiple elements, you can delete all of them at once by doing that. So click that and then delete six items. So in this case, I don't want to do that, but I'll hit publish, go back and refresh this. We'll start off at the beginning. You can see it there. Yep, that's it. Thanks.